Hey guys, come walk with me while I talk to you because I have to make an announcement. After this video, I'm going to take a short break of, I guess, two weeks because I need it. Let me explain why. Last week, the uh, video was like a nightmare to edit because I had over six hours of footage and over half of it was me being like, eh, 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 what? and completely confused and not knowing what I should do. And this week, I thought I had it all figured out and I started building and it turns out I had it. I sort of had it all figured out but I went to do some changes in OBS and turns out all I did so far was recorded without image, without video, just audio. I just recorded my audio, which is great. I added those trees here in front, by the way, and over top, so we're a little secluded and uh, claustrophobic in here and I deleted the hatchery because I added although I thought I couldn't pro serrato to this um, aviary and they phased right through the rocks here which was perfect so we have them in this aviary here they are and yeah, um, so let me show you what I did uh, while I just sprint through here and show and tell you what I did so far. So I uh, had like many different speeches during this recording session. So here I added like a really dense jungle. I'm going to add a few torches to this. And then you get to this temple structure that I wanted to be like uh, inspired by Mayan culture. And I hope it's not offensive to all of my Mexican viewers out there. I say, please don't feel offended. I'm just, I just want to have fun. And all the knowledge I have about Mayan culture comes from the rise of the Tomb Raider. And <laughs> so I know it's, it's not very, well, let's say scientific <laughs> or scientifically grounded. Uh, it's more uh, fantastic and, um, yeah, let's say it's uh, more like fantasy, fantasy uh, stuff in my head with, uh, yeah, lots of magical stuff. But, what I remembered from the game was that there is a god, a Mayan god, called Kukul Khan, who is, if I'm correct, the god of resurrection and death or something, and it's a feathered snake. <laughs> so come on, who, who is better suited for a dinosaur exhibit? with Mayan inspiration culture stuff than Kukul Khan. So I went ahead and said, okay, so the only feathered species that is left, of course, if we have a feathered snake, we need to add a feathered species here. And the only one that is still left are the pyroraptors. So I put them in here. You can't see them right now. Although there are 12 of them, they should be here. I don't know where they are. They're in here. <laughs> and then I gave names to the, ca the, the Carnos. Um, first, I named one of them. I added a third one, Kukul Khan, because cold, uh, Colt. Uh, had the idea to give the uh, two of the fairies the names Vishnu and I don't know what else Krishna no 
I don't know, but I named them accordingly. And he said, why don't you give them the dinosaurs in these biome, the main dinosaurs in these biome specific things like uh, names from their culture, like gods or something to tie it all together. And since Rob had me do that with the Spinos already, they have, they are named Sobek and uh, I don't remember, but it's like Egyptian gods, the Kakeras are named after the pyramids there. So I thought this is a brilliant idea. Let's do it. So I added a third one because Rob had also given me name suggestions to call the Toro Benicio and the demon uh, Ignacio. Yes. So I called this one Cuckoo Khan, but then I realized if this is like a temple Kukul Khan thing, then there is one feathered dinosaur left that really is the king of all of this, which is the feathered Rex. So I added it here somewhere. It's here somewhere there and called it Kukul Khan. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to add the Kukul, the, the Kukul Khan, the real Rex, the Rexes to the North American section, which is, by the way, what I'm going to do when I get back to you, but I really, I need a break. There's so much stuff going wrong right now. I need a break for like two weeks and then I'm going to make, probably make a really cool Death Valley exhibit with Acrocontosaurus. That is something that Natalie Hold wished for and I'm going to give it to her um, probably by using the monorail trick and also just so that evil banister knows i didn't forget you i named one of the mementis brachiosaurus i don't know which one let's go check it out there it is there so yeah i did all this right here lots of jungle uh stuff A little bit Maya inspired, but I can't show you how I did it. But it's actually not that much of a difference from what happened here. Thankfully, there's still a little bit left to do. So that's what, <laughs> what I will do now, hopefully, with moving pictures for you to watch. Also, let's take a look at Vishnu and the other one. Where are they? Vishnu is here. That's her and Shiva. That's Shiva. And they are Hindu gods. I know that. I have actually been toying the idea of adding an Indian exhibit to this uh, to this Asian section, which is something that Evo Bannister requested as well. And I thought maybe we should start the tour with an Indian themed exhibit. So that is also something that is going to come next. And uh, yeah, so Kukul Khan. There is actually a, like a, a, an ancient temple or something no uh, found that was supposed to be his. And it's a pyramid. The Mayas, Aztecs, they both liked to build uh, like these tiered pyramids that uh, I don't know if it's if they are called that in German it's like uh, stair pyramids so you have those different tiers and um, I'm trying to rebuild this here I sort of alluded to that with these three tiers here and these ruins but since Kuku Khan is actually living here I thought we might add one to this area and this right here is sort of supposed to be the entrance to the holy grounds of Kuku Khan uh, and since he's the god of I just looked it up again uh, resurrection and reincarnation all of these skulls sort of make sense he's often depicted as, as I said, he's the feathered snake, but he's also depicted with a bone flute, a flute made of bone and um, a lizard. So again, perfect choice, I say. Just by, by accident, I picked the perfect Mayan god to live here. And I realized that our 
Yeah, our pyroraptors like to spend their time back here, which is a little sad because you won't see them from the tour. So I will have to adjust this once they have decided to move away from here, this fence to end on top of this little hill here. There they are. Look at them, this colorful bunch of feathered snakes with legs and arms. But I think they are very much appropriate for this exhibit. Okay, so they're moving. Also, another reason why I probably need a break, at least from this park build, is that there really is no other way than me buying myself a new graphics card. Look at the frames, 18 frames I had right there. So yeah, the thought was that you come in through this very dense jungle here uh, that I wanted to add a few torches to this path right here because it's it's a little it's creepy because it's so dense but I thought it would uh, like do well with like one or two torches to break up all the trees that are here there like like here and maybe it's so hard to see what i'm doing it's really bad in here so there two torches Let's see if that uh, did what I wanted it to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Maybe right here would be the perfect place for another skull. Let's hope I find this place again because well you, you you saw you saw what's going on here a lot is going on here maybe Ooh, yeah i saw it there oh and see how it's illuminated by the by the tracks that is perfect so let's look at this from here so we see a little bit better what's going on there because and i think this time I'll use the fluffy bush to add some jungly density here. One tree and just a few of these. So yeah, that's perfect, I guess. I guess. Now, um, yeah, I think this uh, space right here is pretty much done. I'll add a few uh, jungle trees here later here as well. I mean, we could do this right now just to warm up a bit uh, because I really wanted, you know, you drive through the structure, actually. It's a, in uh, as opposed to here where you just drive by. And I really want you to feel like this is abandoned and has been taken over by nature. So you really i really need there to be like a ton of vegetation maybe we would just add a few of these small thingies you know just have it be really overgrown and dense and i really want you to look past all of this fo foliage <laughs> to get a glimpse of the pyroraptors. And now I'm thinking I should, can I? Like maybe can I sneak the fence through here without, yes, I can, without destroying or getting rid of the palms. Ah yeah, here you see what you're losing. So I'll do this.
Yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop what I'm doing right now. I need to put in these. Also, I don't want you to see from here what is what is happening over here. So, just a few trees to hide it all from view. And hopefully the Carnos can still walk through here. I think they can, but who knows. Uh, let me get down there. I need a... Nope. Need to check if this did what I wanted it to do. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I like it. Okie dokie. So this is pretty nice. Just a few trees here. Wonderful. Mm, something else could let's maybe add one of these here, just so it's there. This gap isn't as big as it is. And maybe where did I put the? Okay. There. Nice. Did I put this problem like in the middle of the water? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so cool. As I like to say. <laughs> I'll just add a few of these real quick here. A few of these. Well, okay then. Looks dense enough for me. So obvious, ob ob obviously I will have to do all of this like here and here, but I will do this like on my own. This is not very interesting, I figure. So all of this is still Carno land. Let me see where they are. And I'm thinking that maybe those three Carnos are not enough for this big section. So what else could I add there that wouldn't be scared of it and constantly, constantly panicking? I know you like some. I could add the Majunga, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? Let me breed some Majungas. Two very boring minutes later. So I've bred four. Three of them are being transported, but let's release this one and watch. Ooh. What happened? <laughs> it's magical. It's magical. It's perfect for this exhibit. It's magical. And it's colorful looks a little bit like 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 a unhealthy poop but hey not judging <laughs> and task and transport where would I bring you I guess here so let's yeah I mean let's continue doing things right <laughs> I guess hmm Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking, I think I want to add like a paved road with just a few rocks that leads to this temple. How would I position it? So it's interesting to no, this was not what I wanted. I wanted grass. 
because I think we should walk up like here and have the entrance of the temple maybe up here and I am going to do the same trick as before with one of the, the, these and this one behind there maybe move it forward a bit so we have most more space for this uh, pyramid structure uh, that I'm going to draw in first uh, I guess with sand and now what we're doing basically is to just build ruins Ooh, can I put the can I put the corner piece here yeah I will and I can that's perfect are we like halfway yeah whoop <laughs> mm. sorry <laughs> Ah, oh, that was fun. That was fun. At least to me. <laughs> I'll put this one up here. Khan. He's like, what is this crap? Who is spamming my home with this? <laughs> I did not ask for this. <laughs> This is not going to work. Okay, then. I'll just have to use rocks. Which is something that I am going to do anyways. I'll just place a few of these so that it looks as if they belong 
to this structure, you know, they either fell off or it was just put in the rock, this whole thing. Hopefully she can still walk through here. She or he. We'll see about that. Uh, now I think I want to add an another uh, more stairs. Let's turn off random rotation. And this time, I think this is enough to indicate there used to be stairs here. And this is really all that's left. I like that. And now I'll put the dark rocks around because jungle. Now, of course, we need to cover this. Oh, no. First, I need to place more of the torches because before. Ah, of course, I cannot put them under this, which is a shame. I would have loved to. But OK, then. Yeah. I was saying, what was I saying? Of course we need to, could you please move from here? Are you stuck? Are you stuck on that rock? It's always a possibility. What was I saying? <laughs> ah, of course we need to add lots of trees and jungle stuff to this. But before we do that, I should probably place the torches to this pyramid this honey could you please go somewhere else i guess not these yellow eyes piercing eyes very good okay uh yeah okay now vegetation first to hide uh the jurassic park sign of course Again, by using these, I guess. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, oh, this is like perfect. And now I need to place two, but I think I can 
get ooh, i forgot to use the desert palms like all together where could i maybe put this thing could i put it here that looks reasonably overgrown it's a shame i cannot put anything here but i can put things have things grow here <laughs> i get way too excited about these i love it though love it let's have things grow here <laughs> oh wow how about these is she now going to stay there forever is he are you never going to move again is it did we get that far i mean did we reach the point of like where the game gives up and just stops any dinosaur action that is insane what can we make grow up here nothing apparently how about here okay so maybe Ooh -hoo -hoo. yes 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 so let's try with these sweetheart could you please move Nah. come back oh my god do you maybe need a friend do you want a friend should i give you a friend would that change anything i don't think so but it's maybe worth a try Ah, but uh, there's only one cuckoo Khan. <laughs> there can only be one. I'm so sorry, love. But you will have to live alone. So this time, let's not forget these and see what they bring us. Not much. Not much. She moved! He moved! It moved! <laughs> ah! Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'll just add a few uh, more trees. Um, you know, so these aren't as weird. There, I don't want to do. I don't want to do too much. You know, you should still be able to see all of this. So I don't want to like put so much stuff in here that you don't see the tr the, the structures anymore. Just a few like cute little things and something something in front of here so you don't see the crap. Uh, maybe add a banana here. So it's really... So you really cannot look at this from the inside. Same... This is hidden. It's good enough. And there is nothing here that I need to hide. Maybe this. So, just to be sure. Hello. There. That should take care of it. It does. So, yeah, that's it. Um, 
Sweetheart, what's your problem? Are you not able to go there anymore? Are you stuck? What is it? What is it? I think I, uh, just in case she really is, or he really is stuck, I will adjust this. Now comes the fun part. I don't know, do I need to get rid of this fence in between, in the middle? Who do I put here? What do I do with this? Or should I maybe delete this fence and just uh, have the people embrace the fairies on the right and ignore what's on their left? I feel that at this part of the tour, it would be wrong to have the Rex meet you here. So I wouldn't want to open this up to it. I hope you agree. But for there to be nothing, that's also... Like, I don't know. I don't... I legitimately don't know. But that's maybe not something for today. But something that you can comment on and yeah just tell me theories or maybe i open this and have the theories <coughs> excuse me and have the theories walk here but then it's just too big it would just be too big for former menchies and two theories that's just not what should happen they have stopped coming here, apparently, which is a shame. But I mean, the Konos are roaming there. Look at them! I think this guy fits really well with the other two. Wonderful. Seriously, wonderful. And where are the Majungas? Where are you? Haven't seen you yet. Ah, here you are. That's nice. Ooh, they're coming out to walk here. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is very cool. That is a very cool sight. Oh my god, look at you. Wow, very nice, very nice. I'm applauding myself. This is a very, very nice little part of the tour. What are you doing? Are you interacting? No. You're about to scream. Are you? And phase through one. Okay, no one screams, but phase, phase, they phase through one another. Yeah, well, nice. Nice, nice. Nice. So, okay, all that's left to do now is decorate this bit and uh, put some finishing touches on this forest here and this one. I, I would suggest to put up a shrine for this dude. Only makes sense, in my opinion. But where would I put you? Also, I think this, these, all these skulls have now, uh evolved from, you know, if we're if remnants of indigenous people who kill dinosaurs <laughs> to just being shrines f for Ku Klux Klan. Uh, Ku -Ku -Kl oh my God, did I just say Ku Klux Klan? I hope I didn't. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, shrines to Ku Klux Klan, which I like better. And I hope that all of my Mexican and basically, let's say, South American viewers, I know I have some. Oh, 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 something turned blue here. Can I put you on this? Yes, I can. I hope you don't mind me. Like, uh, taking your cultural heritage from South America, let's say South America. 
uh, of the Mayas and doing something like this. I hope it's as fun to you as it is as it is to me. Going a bit of a, a mythical route here, but I think that's fine. I hope it is fine. I mean. I think it's fun. Oh, and I, I do love this. And I think I will put like two of these in front of him. Awesome. Bring these in as well. <gasps> Please fit. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. There. Thank God. Epic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want more decorations with flames. Could I please have more of these frontiers? Frontier? Some, maybe some smaller ones would be cool. Would be kind of nice. And uh, some red flags for some color. More flames, please. Frontier. Flames. We want flames. Fire. There. I am in love. Now I'm going to place some of the tropical rocks around this to increase the epicness even further. Who's living here, by the way? In this corner of the tour. Let's look. Oh, it's the Rex! Isn't there a fence here? Yes, it's here. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> it is the Rex. Well, that's nice. Mm. Add you and you. Oh, and the fairies are walking by. There, epic little shrine on this island here. Let's see if I can, why did I click this away? Increase the, yeah, amount of water here. That's like perfect. Yeah, terrain constraints, I figured. I figured, and now this, of course, because we're still in the jungle, and lots of plants like to grow in water and wet situations. We should bring them in here and have them do what they do best. <laughs> Produce logs and fun stuff for us to look at. By the way, uh, Rob commented something that really came, uh, that I would sign as well, um, that he would love to see this foggy, but the fog chose to not turn up as much, or if it turns up, uh, it's very subtle since I changed my graphics uh, settings to be less demanding of my GPU, uh, which was necessary. Also, one more reason for me to take a break and buy myself a new card so I can 
finished this project without uh, being afraid that it might crash the game and my computer. Um, also, I don't think I can like literally do nothing for two or three weeks. I'm not even sure if I how long I want to do my this break. I'm definitely going to be back once the DLC uh, releases, if it does. But I mean, we pretty much all think it will in August. If Evo is proven right, it will. Yeah, so I don't know how long I will just take this break, but I think even if I'm not doing like all biomes, parks, park builds, I have ideas for shorts and stuff, so I guess I will just use this break to do less demanding shorter videos for, for not not like regularly so you know can't post an itinerary for what i'm planning but i won't be completely gone but i i just need to do a few things that aren't as complicated and you know demanding as i said so don't worry, you'll get your dose of Miri. <laughs> you'll be fine, I'll be fine, we will all be fine. It will all be fine. All is good. Okay. Um, need to bring in some of these here if they would be so kind as to appear. Oh, this is, this needs, like, some work. There we go, that's a little... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's maybe not the... <laughs> hmm. It's not perfect. Didn't say it was perfect. Come on, be quick. Quick, quick, quick. Can I please? Why can't I do this? Ah, oh. move. Yeah, there we go. That's it. It can be bumpy. As I said, it's an adventure tour. It can be bumpy. Okay, let's decorate this path that is leading up to the temple by first 
adding torches, of course. Let's pretend that it's actually the same like path as the tour is taking, but then it forks off to the side before they enter the tour building again. So there we go. I think torches on one side is enough. Um, and to make that even more clear, I will make this a little rocky. And now I'll just grab these, uh, the flat. Where are my flat rocks here? Turn off random rotation and see where the flattest side is. I think it's this one. And, you know, have it lead like down here. Some of the old pavement that survived. How close can I get this to the tour track? That's insane! Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it for the path. I think it works. And I like it a lot. And then it's sort of goes this way. Perfect! Oh no, I should have continued here. Wonderful! Wonderful! Okie dokie, that's done. That is appropriately jungly. 
maybe some no decorations some of these it's back here no more palms here just these so uh, the transition to the Asian part is not that abrupt. I really like that. Fills me with joy. Uh, I think I need to add just a couple rocks of the tropical rocks like all around hopefully without keeping her from coming forth and well I don't need to put um, skulls everywhere but I want to have one more situation skull situation like here thousand seven hundred and seventy seven palms of this type and I guess they're all just in this tour because it's the only jungle thing I have done so far <laughs> oh my god uh, this is a, a fascinating what else can I say mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now I just before I start adding other things, things. I'll just add a forest here. So I don't know what, how I'm going to fence this off or, you know, what I'm going to do with this side of the tour. So for now I'm leaving it like this. This part seems a little boring, unless you encounter the Rex and the Changzhou's, Changzhou's, but I think that's okay, to be honest. So you need to calm down. You need some relax, you need climaxes like this one. But then you just need a, like a little stretch to calm down, to breathe again <laughs> before the next terror comes around the corner. So I guess I'll just throw in like one or two torches here and there to accompany you along the way have the light lead you along here but it's enough with all the skulls yeah I really I, one might say I overdid it already with the amount of skeletons and skulls I put here. But that's really a philosophical question. <laughs> Can there ever be too many skulls? I don't know. But yeah, I guess you guys, this is it. This is the Jungle River Tour, the spooky, creepy Jungle River Tour done. Unless you guys have ideas for this little bit that is still Asian, otherwise, there's just nothing happening there and I will delete the fence. And again, if you have uh, like name suggestions 
for any creature in this park, feel free to well drop them in the comments. I hope you're not mad at me that I'm taking a break. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss when I come back. <laughs> or hit the notifications uh, so you don't miss it. Uh, but I will let you know when I'll be back and I won't be really gone. I won't be gone completely and I hope you appreciate what I will do in the meantime. It's just little things, nothing big, nothing, no big surprises or anything. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> just some, some shorts, maybe, maybe a small surprise. Who knows? I thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this Mayan part that uh, I partly did without you uh, because I'm stupid. Uh, but so if you did, please leave a like. As always, comment, 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 comment. <laughs> I don't know how to finish that sentence. Can I change a light color? Ooh, I can and I will. That's it. That's it. I'll leave you with this side and the Rexus screams in the background. And the theory back there. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in a few weeks. Stay inspired. Bye bye.